Hello, everybody. So, first off, I'm Ronimus2099. In case you don't know, which you typically do. Anyway, um, I want to say real quickly, y'all are way too nice to me. Okay, I was all hard on myself. I wasn't trying to be, but it came off that way. And y'all are just too nice. Way too nice. Please, just stop. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You are way too nice. I don't deserve you. You don't deserve me either, so it kind of works out pretty well. Anyway, today we're talking about Sunfire figure that I've been looking for for months, and I finally found him, and my GameStop, so that's good. Anyway, uh, I wanted to review him first of my uh, chopping block of characters that I have to review, because I, um, I think he's just better to do first off, you know, and then do the more exciting and cool ones later. I'm planning on doing Mystique tomorrow, and then hopefully I can do a couple more throughout the week, slash... A longer than that because I, I don't want to burn them out but speaking of burning this is Sunfire from Age of Apocalypse this is not his usual look but I do prefer this look I prefer it way more it is more he can't control his powers somewhat like him being able to control it but not control enough so that he looks like a human and this is what I picture that a mutant would look like he wouldn't be able to just control fire and make fire from his fists he'd actually be palm fire and I just find that as a super interesting idea and pretty fun to do. So, here he is with his nice stature and glow in the darkiness, um, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that, uh, well, not glow in the darkiness, but translucent enus. Um, yeah. Um, if you don't know who Sunfire is, he is uh, from Japan, I believe. And um, him and his brother, Silver Samurai, are two of my favorite mutants. And, uh, both of them are super cool. And, you know, I like, I like, I like him. Uh, he was introduced in the, uh, New Age of X-Men, uh, comic. I forgot what number it is, but anyway. I remember he was introduced, Colossus was introduced, I believe Gambit was too. And, um, yeah, th that was kind of the time where, um, you know, Marvel kind of realized, like, hey, we should add some more diversity. Like, you know, this could be really cool. If we do characters from all different places. And this is not what he looked like originally. Only the time that he got this kind of costume was in Age of Apocalypse. And I believe that he did get it in some time in um, uh, the, the newest series of X-Men. House of X. I think maybe he did. Or at least he had something similar to this where he was very fiery. I love his mask. It is very traditional. He always kind of keeps that same mask look-y-ish. Um, with the white on top of his front of his first lips and um yeah and so i do like all the black shadowing kind of shadowing um sh highlighting squares you know whatever you want to call it i like that it makes him really look nice now we're going to compare him with another fiery figure from the x-men pyro I just gotta grab him um pyro and that this is what makes him different from pyro pyro can Control flame, of course he needs, you know, a source of it. He can't just uh, make a flame appear, but Sunfire can actually become fire and such. So they look really nice together. They are, they are the same mold, um, but I thought I'd just show them together for fun. And here he is with his, uh, his broder, Silver Samurai. Of course, I don't believe Silver Samurai was in the... Um, Age of Apocalypse storyline. I can't remember him being in it. And here he is with Rogue for fun. Which, yeah, I'm not getting the new Rogue. I like this suit. I like this suit. I prefer it. So, yeah. Um, should you buy him? Should you buy him? Yes, you should. You totally should. He's an amazing figure. He looks amazing. And he's also pretty fun. I've had a lot of fun with posing him. Um, I'll probably show some on my Instagram later. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, don't follow that. It's Rodimus 12 Um, But he he just works well with the... Well, I guess it was originally his first mold back in 2017, I believe it was. Yeah, whenever Logan came out, uh, the Sunfire body mold came out, and that is what is used a lot because it is a fairly good mold. So, yeah, uh, I really like him. I kind of wish that he came with more accessories. The build a figure parts he comes with are the two hand or two arms for Sugar Man. Um, which if you think, oh wow, I can probably build Sugar Man, you know, maybe the rest is just his torso head and nope, nope, you're wrong. He comes with a 
forearms, so, yeah. Uh, Hasbro, why won't you just give us more of the five, five, build a figure wave. Anyway, this is an amazing figure that if you haven't already bought, I strongly urge you to. Um, if you like the character or Age of Apocalypse at all, or just want to do some stop motions with a fun looking character, that you can kind of make your own. I mean, there's no real set in stone proper version of Sunfire, I feel. Um, Wolverine, well, you can't make him be from France. You definitely can't make him be from France, Sunfire. But um, you can make him have a little bit of a different story. You know, a little bit of a different one. And make it interesting. Anyway, that's all I'm saying. I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that does come out. I'm Rodhams2099. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, please, that would help. Uh, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or want to just talk about this figure, please leave so in the comments below. Um, as always, Rodhams2099 probably won't change until, you know, the year 60 billion, when I have to change into the Emperor. Anyway, I'll see you then. Gonna be a fun couple years.